Hello everyone, welcome back to today's showcase on Dark Souls 3. So, going through a lot of weird weapons, but the next one is questionable as a weapon because of its nature of it. Well, it can be a weapon, it's just not naturally a weapon. I'm not sure how this works, but it's the smoldering iron. You brand your opponents, it burns a lot. What keeps it burning red? I don't know. And I don't think you know either. <laughs> yeah, a little weird. The description of this weapon reads, Branding iron used by jailers prowling ethereal dungeon. Press its searing tip against foes to inflict fire damage and temporarily block Estus healing. So that's not really do much for casual enemies. It's more for PvP. Because that will definitely stop your opponents from healing themselves. Not that I can really test that very well. Anyway, the skill is the charge. Hold iron at the waist and charge at a foe. Use strong attack while charging and extend the length of the charge. This is the spear skill. Which makes this very, very weird. A spear is a wedge. You can shove it into your opponent and it splits its flesh apart. This will not do that. It'll simply burn a lot. Weird. It's the only word to say for this. Visually, the weapon, well, it's a burning iron. Uh, its shape is actually, it looks like a bit of a peace sign, to be honest. <laughs> Which is just loads of irony. But otherwise, a burning iron could be anything. There's many different types, many companies use their own, and you can make one at home. Just don't press it against someone you know. <laughs> oh boy. The stats for the smoldering iron, well, the physical is pretty damn bad. Like, awful wise. You almost get no physical out of this and the bonus damage is a joke. Well, compared to the actual physical, it's not half bad, but still a joke. And we got fire damage that does not scale. Yeah, it's gonna be one of these weapons, so... Going on chibi bonus, for what it's worth, you get two Ds. One for strength, one for dexterity, though I have no clue which one's better than the other. True requirement can go either way, with 10 strength and 12 dexterity used to wield this weapon. Pretty much next to nothing. Going on to this charge, we got 13 FP for initial use, and then 9 for the follow-up. So it's not bad, but meh. The way the weapon is actually pretty hefty for what I expected to be, it's 5.0. So yeah. It also has to be said that the durability of the weapon is actually very low, lower than most katanas, and they're fragile weapons as it is. So overall, the weapon uh, this isn't looking that great, but hopefully it'll, something else will come around. The animation for this is boring from the spears. So you got the poke, which it really is a poke this time. <laughs> Power attack is the heavy poke. You're really branding it into their skin at that point. In two-handed, it's a bit overkill, and you might be making your hand burn at that point, but you've got the two-handed poke, two-handed power attack. You've got the very heavy poke. Again, very hot at that end. And you got the spear charge. Nothing new there. In the spear attack, you can probably guess it, it's a poke. <laughs> Upgrading this weapon takes Tate Knight shards, thank god. And when upgrading this weapon, we can see you don't get really a whole lot out of either damage. Both of these combined makes an average upgrade for a single weapon. The fire damage is okay, but we're seeing very poor results from these upgrades. Uh, it's almost a waste of Tate Knight in my opinion. And sure, the true bonus goes to C on the freaking weapon, but what point is there? I am breaking 40 bonus damage. <laughs> the fire damage hopefully will pull through and make this weapon workable. Ugh, pretty bad. So how does one perform? Well, against enemies with armor, I wouldn't say it would, wouldn't work very good at all. Like, it wouldn't work. But whatever, it is Dark Souls. Does it have a backstab? If this is a backstab, it's even more bizarre than I thought it would be. Let's see. Okay, couldn't... maybe. I'm not sure if this weapon has a backstab or not. Let's see. It does! <laughs> Just for your damage, I impaled him with that damn spear. It's not even a spear, it's a fucking hot press. Ugh, it's just a bizarre weapon. I get the idea, it's not intended to be used as the main weapon. It's meant to be on the offhand during PvP fights. 
But still, I have to review the weapon. We see it takes three uh, pokes to kill an enemy with a basic attack. Uh, and we can see that a powerful poke uh, still takes three hits. Two or three hits. Ugh, it's horrible. It truly is horrible. In terms of going through opponents, it could if they're really close together. I think I, I didn't kill that guy? Jeez, this weapon's, well, this weapon's gonna be a real pain in the ass. Alright, let's test if it'll go through a shield. Though I have my heaviest of doubts. Here's the charge. Did next to no damage. Ugh. I doubt this is probably gonna bounce right off the shield if I had to guess. Though if Buddy here will let me attack. Sure, I can get multiple hits in between with opponents of big weapons, but... Oof. Okay, I, that's, the basic strike did bounce off the shield just then. But, you know what? I'm not gonna bo bother. This thing is just no good. <laughs> so against the Gorgal, I'm speeding this up because, sweet Jesus, it took forever to kill the damn thing. And it's the best of three runs. As soon as you start using the shield, it was just end up, couldn't get anywhere with the damn thing. But oh well. I wasn't a cap high hopes of this weapon, and it's sure showing that in return. <laughs> now I'm against the Black Knight, who are resistant to fire damage. And that's all this weapon has. Oh. Can you, can you, can you see a bad formula for him forming on this weapon? Because <laughs> I can sure feel it when using it. Oh, it's so bad. Sure, you can see a little neat branding on your enemy there. A little peace sign. Uh, make love, not war. <laughs> so stupid. Just like this weapon. Oh, look at that. The charge only did 100 damage. This weapon's atrocious. Even a secondary weapon. I'm not sure I would even, you'd even dare use it against on our player. Rather just use a shield. Ugh, it's awful. Moving on to the pros and cons of the Smoldering Iron. On the pros, which ones are there? You got the, well, it stops or harms SS recovery. I'll put harms, because I'm not sure if it stops or just lowers the amount you get. And it has a low stat requirement to use. That's something. And it's unique. Clearly there's no other weapon like this in the game. Yeah. Let's move on to the cons. We got very low overall damage, very fragile weapon, and the flame damage does not scale. Yeah. Anyhow, moving on to the score, damage gets a 1 out of 10. This weapon has very poor damage. The broken straight sword gives it a run for its money even. The reach gets at least 6 out of 10. It's longer than a long sword, but not by a whole lot. Animation, 1 out of 10. It has no new animations, borrows everything from spear animations, and it's not even a spear. That's why it's a 1 out of 10. Bonus, also a 1 out of 10. It is a truly atrocious bonus. If it had some flame scaling bonus, even just a little bit, it would be better than a 1, but that has some really, really bad bonus damage going on in this weapon. Misc, well, we all give it a 5 out of 10. At least it has the SS, you know, harms the SS recovery, and it's the only smoldering iron in the game. Or branding iron. Even if it is a peace sign. <laughs> so in total, the smoldering iron gets 12 out of 50. Which is terrible. I'm aware it's, it's an off-tan weapon, but if it was an independent weapon, it is terrible. Awful. Awful. Never should be used in your primary hand, off-hand only. So it's not that great of a weapon, independently. Who cares? It's still good. Uh, it's still useful, at least. You can at least use in PvP, but just keep it holstered most of the time. <laughs> I think it's best if you whip it out as a surprise. When you get real close to your enemy, whip it out and try and brand them with it. Then follow up with a few more attacks. But oh well, that's been Showcase for today. I thank everyone here for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there.